hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for watching today thank you guys in this video i'm going to be talking about uh, diaconal university of applied sciences yes i will be talking about diaconal university of applied sciences for those of you who don't know where this university is it is one of the applied science universities in finland all right and in all thing possible or let me say to generalize everything Admissions in Finland or in Finnish University is currently going on, all right? So if you have been looking for a program to study in Europe or anywhere in Finland, this is the time for you to apply and the application deadline is the 22nd of January. So you must apply between now and 22nd of January. First, there is no application fee. Secondly, there is a possibility for you to get a scholarship, all right? You just need to do your research more and get a university that you can apply for a scholarship as soon as you apply for admissions and get the admissions letter now you also need to understand that not all the universities will offer you scholarship based on your qualification some will give you scholarship based on your qualification or let me say your performance after the first semester some will give you scholarship based on the time in which you pay your tuition fee Others will give you scholarship based on the season or the time in which the scholarship has been allocated, all right? So that is what you should know and know the differences. Now, the first thing you need to do when you are looking for a program in Finland is to identify your program. Know the program you want to apply for. Then, you also need to know that there are universities in Finland and there are universities of applied sciences. If you are a science student and have a science knowledge or background, you should go for the applied science universities. That is my advice for you. Now, another advantage you have is that to apply for Finnish universities or a school in Finland, you have the possibility to apply for four different programs, all right? You can choose four different programs because Finland has a central, one central platform where all admissions go through. It is called studyinfo.fi, all right? When you choose join admissions, it is going to take you to studyinfo.fi, which means that you can select four different programs in maybe probably four different universities, all right? There is absolutely zero application fee, and you also need to understand that if you are applying to Finnish universities, a maximum of students one school or one program can take in a particular semester like this semester that is going to be starting in October, is 20 25 or maximum 30 students in a class all right so you need to understand some of these things now like i said before i will be talking about diacona university of applied sciences and admissions is currently open all right it started on the 5th of january and is going to be closing by the 19th of january some will close on the 22nd of january now you should understand that Diakonia University of Applied Sciences don't have a, no, a lot of programs like the other schools, like the University of Helsinki, the University of Tampere, but also know that tuition fee in Finland varies, all right? Tuition fee in Finland is different per university. And from my research and experience, the University of Applied Sciences have the cheapest tuition fee so far in Finnish universities, all right? So, Diakonia University of Applied Sciences have programs like the social science program or the social services programs, all right, because there are social science programs and there are social programs related to social services. Their programs are 4,000 euros a year, all right. Then programs like healthcare programs at the same university, Diakona University of Applied Sciences, are 5,000 euros. Diakona is spelled D-I-A-C-O-N-I-A, -I -I all right, University of Applied Sciences. Master's degree programs are 6,000 euros per year. The first two programs I mentioned are bachelor's degree programs or anything related to that is between 4,000 and 5,000. But all master's degree programs at Diakonia University of Applied Sciences are 6,000 euros a year. Moving further, you should also understand that for you to apply for Diakonia University, there are also a range of scholarship opportunities you can benefit from. All right. There are scholarships in this school that you can only apply at the end of the year, not like the other universities like Novia University, where you can apply at the beginning, but you can apply only at the year, at the end of year. And to win this scholarship at Diakona University of Applied Sciences, you must get at least 55 ECTS credit value or credit units. Okay. 
before you can be given the scholarship and note that the scholarship maximum you can get is 50 percent there is no full scholarship in this university all right so that is what you should understand which means that when you apply for this university and get admissions you are going to pay your tuition fee apply for visa and move to finland then there is a time that the scholarship is going to open that you are going to apply for all right that is what i mean now the bsc programs at the Akonia university of applied sciences include a bachelor's degree sorry not master's bachelor's degree in healthcare and nursing all right those of you who have been asking me about the nursing in finland please know that you can study nursing in finland but first you have to do two things one you need to one you have to do um your ielcs score the IELTS is the international exam all right the english exam you are going to be submitting to your university to tell them that you are able and capable of integrating in the course with english language as a course instructor or instruction all right because the course is going to be taught in english language my english may not be the best so you have to provide your ielts score all right that is one or if you have the toefl and you do not have the art it still depends on you send an email to the institution or to the program and tell them i have toefl and not art all right because most of the programs in Finnish universities are, are saying that or let's say the program websites you will always find it or nothing else all right the second thing you need to do if you must apply for nursing or a BSc program in nursing you should start learning Finnish because the program is taught in English language but I want to assure you that at certain points in time or within some semesters you are going to be taught Finnish courses so if you start integrating yourself or start playing around with the Finnish language, it is advantageous for you to easily pick up when you start your nursing degree, all right? That is an advantage for you to take. Now, the master's program at this university also include some of the highly taught BSc programs, all right? Let's assume that if you were studying something related to business administration, know that there is still business administration at the master's degree level all right then other programs like masters in global change and community development are also available all right we also have all oh, this university also offers masters in people-centered and innovation leadership or something related to that all these programs are taught in english language all right so for the bsc student i will say students around Africa and the world, I will encourage you to start learning your Finnish language because I want to tell you that at some point in time, you will still integrate with some courses and it still advantage you if you move to Finland and you move to a place or to get something by the supermarket where everybody speaks Finnish, which is impossible, not possible, but impossible because Finland is a country where a lot of people, there are diverse groups of individuals, all right? So these are some of the programs. Remember I said tuition fee varies. Now you need to understand that you as an international student, you would be paying tuition fee. And I already talked about the tuition fee section, but someone from the EU is not going to pay tuition fee. All right, there are five categories. The other category of persons who will not be paying tuition fee at Diakona University of Applied Sciences include people with EU blue card. There is a card in the European Union, it is called the EU blue card. It is called a blue card, all right? People who own this card are not going to pay tuition fee. Again, people with a continuous residence permit card in Finland, all right? The, resi the residence permit card has to be type A because there are various of various types. So somebody with a, an, a type A residence card is not going to pay tuition fee, even if you are an African or come from Africa, all right? I hope you understand. Now, EU family member residents or EU family members with a residence card, all right, in Finland are also not going to be paying tuition fee. Why others with a residence permit type P, all right, anybody with a residence permit type P in Finland is also not going to be paying tuition fee. So that is what you need to understand, all right. And again, know that most of these schools in Finland are going to select students with a possible good outcome what i mean by a possible good outcome here is their educational background is good their work experience is good and 
Just a little reminder, let me elaborate a little bit about the work experience. Know that as a student in Finland, if you are applying for a master's degree, especially always verify because you always need a CV, you need work experience, at least two years working experience. First, if you graduate from a university in Finland for with your bachelor's degree, if you have a bachelor's from Finland, for you to apply for master's or from Africa, for you to apply for, master, for master's degree programs in Finnish universities, you would always find a place which says upload working experience. So your working experience is going to be very okay, but if you have a working experience which is not up to two years, it is still okay to use. But at least you should prove that you have done something when you were in school. I hope you understand working experience, the CV is very important. Again, your academic certificates, remember you are uploading these documents when you go to studyinfo.fi because that is where the central platform where you are going to be doing your admissions. I hope you understand all of this and I hope this video helps you. In subsequent videos, I will be talking about the University of Helsinki and the University of Olua because they have some good programs that are there. Those of you looking for computer programs, looking for cyber security, looking for internet uh, stuff or internet programs or engineering programs related to the internet, please check most of these top universities, but bear in mind that tuition fee is going to be expensive, all right, at least 10,000 euros up. So you have to know that before you go looking for a program so that when you see one, you should apply immediately. Again, note that you are going to write a motivation letter. I didn't mention in other videos I did about Finland, but it is very, very necessary. A motivation letter is needed in some universities and some programs. All right. So if you see that, go in search of the program. When writing your motivation letter, put in mind that the program catalog and the program website is going to help you draft a better motivation letter. I hope this is going to help somebody. If it does, please do not forget to share the video like the video and again subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't done so yet thank you so much for today until we meet again in another one